皆さんこんにちは and welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. In this channel, I Shogo will introduce various topics about Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, this is your one step deeper. In this series, I will introduce three tea suites on a monthly basis. This video will be a chance to take a very close look at these beautiful pieces of art and learn more about the culture of tea ceremonies. In the end, I will introduce where you can buy these sweets in Japan. Tea sweets have a history of over 300 years. In tea ceremonies, tea sweets play an important role in expressing the host's hospitality to the guests. They are served to enhance the flavors of matcha tea and often represent the beauty of nature and festivals of each season. Tea sweets is not just confectionery made from sugar and paste, but more of a piece of artwork. So, let's go to the next one. Cosmos. The kanji character for the cosmos flower means autumn cherry blossoms. As the kanji characters show, it is a representative flower in early autumn. The outside is ponashi. A sort of sweetened steamed dough made from white bean paste, and there is also white bean paste filled inside. All right, then I love to start from eating the cosmos. It's very beautiful. I love these flower ones, really detailed. All right. I'm just gonna eat half of it. My wife is gonna be eating the other half, so. The inside is white bean paste, like this. Oishii. It's really, really delicious. As I explained, the outside is konashi and inside is also white bean paste, so the texture is really, really smooth. It's delicious, very, very nice. And when you even take a look at the inside too, the color matches. It's very beautiful. Tsukiusagi. Autumn is the season for tsukimi or moon viewing. It was originally a festival culture for aristocrats to gather together and recite poetry. Eventually, it spread among commoners and became a Thanksgiving event. Not only is a rabbit, but the round shape also represents the full moon. The second one is the tsukiusagi. It's a rabbit. You can see his his or her face there, two eyes and the ears, very cute. Last month, I introduced the Daimonji Joyo, which represented the festival held in August. Now this month, we use the same Joyo Manju to make this rabbit. So again, these type, the Joyo Manju, must be eaten by hand. I'm so sorry about it though. I don't want to hurt you, I'm so sorry. I don't want to destroy his face. Try to go for the back there. Ah, all right. The inside there, as you can see, red bean paste this time. Now, itadakimasu. These joyo manju are quite sticky, like this, as you can see. So having hot matcha tea after it is very, very nice. It's a perfect match. Super delicious too. Kaki doshin. In the past, many Japanese families had persimmon trees growing in their yard. So when people see the persimmon, it brings back childhood memories of autumn. The outside is uido, a sort of sweetened steamed cake made from rice powder, and the inside is white bean paste. Then, last but not least, is the persimmon. Very detailed and beautiful. I don't know how many countries have persimmons, though. I mean, like, when I was in America, I've never heard of the word persimmon before, so... I hope everyone can imagine what the fruit is. Alright, let's cut it in half. The inside is white bean paste, just like the first cosmos. And the outside is very, very soft as well.
美味しいめちゃくちゃ美味しい Just like the Cosmos and these Hersmans, they're colored. So they look like they taste really sweet, like colored sweet kind of, but they're not actually. The outside doesn't have like a very strong taste. The taste is really mainly the, the bean paste inside. And this Hersman, the outside is made from uiro. So it's even softer than the first konashi I introduced. Super delicious. Very, very good. Goshitosama deshita. Lastly, I will introduce the confectionery shop where we bought today's sweets. Tsuruya Yoshinobu is one of the most famous confectionery shops in Japan. It has a history of over 200 years and more than 60 shops all over Japan. If you have a chance to visit Japan, I'm sure you'll find one in the city you travel to. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. And my goal is to achieve 10,000 subscribers by July 2021, so your help is what I need. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.